Hey guys, Cosmic here, welcome back to the Crash Insane Trilogy. This is part two of the Colored Gem Guide. This is the generator room where you earn the gold gem. Now, fun fact, I actually did this, uh, this bit during my playthrough. Accidentally, I got the gem, so there's no uh, audio here because it would just be my old voice. But yeah, the generator room can be a little bit problematic. There's a lot of jumps here that you need to get right. Um, but again, I got lucky, so I just have to talk about what I basically did during the playthrough. So yeah, there's a lot of jumps here. You really have to just time it so you um, get the best amount of height and distance from your jump. Just basically jump at the last second. There's a lot of these enemies that um, that uh, go round in a circle. You just want to make sure you, they go below you or you spin them when you're there above. For some reason, this big platform here has a timer on it before it drops. And I don't know why. I never knew why. It's in the first game as well. A bit weird. But yeah, just want to make it just go over here, do this with a little box bridge, not too bad, and keep going. Again, these little camera enemies, if you want to, if you just go below it, so you just miss it, or if it's above you, you can just spin it away. And sometimes you might have to do it like this, where you jump across and spin, uh, but thankfully you didn't have to. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of slippery jumps here. If you die, there's a good chance it's because you're not used to the new jumping or it's just, you know, you miss time with jumps. It can happen. Um, it's a little similar to uh, Slippery Climb, only, uh, you know, <laughs> not Slippery Climb. So here's the first Torna bonus. I don't remember if I died here or not. <laughs> this is just a simple box bridge. Uh, little bonus here, just go across, really not that bad, that's it, simple. Right, moving on, we've got some more moving platforms going up and down. Uh, these again, just jump on them when they're, they're lowered, so uh, yeah, you just get in the height for it. And we've got the height here, you jump on the lowered one. This cam, this, uh, I guess, little droid enemy uh, with the spinning blades, the, the depth perception on it is a little bit weird. Um, in fact, that's the problem with your Crash One anyway. There's a lot of depth perception issues where you jump into sometimes, and especially especially true in the dark when you can't see your own shadow very well. Uh, but yeah, just time it so you jump away from it when it's you know. Get these boxes here. Yeah, so this is like a little break, I guess. You just you know go on these little platforms and. Uh, Basically, let let it do uh, <laughs> like the rest of the level for you here. <laughs> Just you know, get a little break. Now these jumps here can be very annoying because you're going forward towards the screen and you can't see your shadow very well. And this is where the depth perception issues come from because the gap looks way bigger than it is. And that is the checkpoint. Make sure you don't jump off after you hit the checkpoint because it can lose your momentum from jumping. Now you want to make sure these enemies go out of your way. But if you've got Aqua Coups, again, if you die at the start to get your two Aqua you just, you know, secure a hit. I nearly fell there, which is uh, surprising. Uh, but I managed to uh, rescue myself. So go to the side here. There's a few boxes, TNTs. Just want to just go past it. Don't ignore the, the explosives. And again, you can just like miss these platformers if you're not lined up properly. Shadow. Now here's where things get a little tricky. So you have to ride this platform and not hit any of these pipes. Uh, they can push you off. But this is basically the final bit of the level. This is the final stretch. And uh, yeah. Uh, the last bit here, you jump onto this platform and wait for it to go across. Then you go back onto it. And there's the last three boxes, and there you go. You've got yourself the gold gem. Not as bad as Slippery Climb or The Lost City, but can be a little troublesome if you're not used to the new jumping mechanics or you're just not used to this game at all. Keep practicing it, and it's not that bad, really. Moving on, we're going to be doing Toxic Waste. <laughs> 